All right, guys, today we're going to be shooting this beautiful stainless Beretta 92 FS. We got five loaded up in the magazine. Let's try to hit that target down range. Wow, that slide feels like butter. Double action first. Yes, that last shot. This girl feels smooth, butter smooth. What's up guys? Today we're shooting a really cool pistol. I know this pistol has a huge fan group and following, but I personally have never shot one before. So I'm looking forward to this. And the pistol that I'm referring to today is the Beretta 92 FS. And as you can see, this is the gorgeous stainless or ghost model. I've heard some of them refer to this one as, okay. My buddy James was gracious enough to loan this one to the channel. So let's take uh, our first shots with this pistol and see what all the hype is about. Picking up this gun and holding it, it's got a hoe grip on it with the finger grooves. And boy, does it feel nice in my hand. So I haven't cleaned it, haven't done anything to this gun. Literally picked it up at the pawn shop and brought it straight to the range. I got 10 rounds loaded up. Let's take these shots at 25 yards and see how she does. Let's go double action first. Okay. It didn't lock open for me right there, but I can tell you for sure I was riding the slide release. Um, well, my first impressions is it's smooth, very smooth, very easy recoil coming back in the hand. I was trying to figure out my grip, my thumbs forward grip as I was shooting because this one's just laid out a little bit differently than my other pistols is, but everything felt real nice at it. I was also trying to determine where exactly to hold at on that torso target because a few shots I missed. I think I'm so used to the SIGs and their six o'clock hold, but with this one, it's like right on top of the target is where you want to put that top bead at. And one more thing, I will tell you the double action on this gun is really smooth. Oh yeah, really smooth and really easy to pull. Like it's a light spring for this double action. Again, I don't know if it's because this one's already been broken in because it's used. It's, you know, may have been shot thousands of times, who knows, but the trigger feels good. Let me uh, load up some more rounds and let's take uh, a few more shots with it. Okay, stand by. got 10 more rounds loaded up. Let's shoot that torso again. Those are my first shots of the day, so I'm just now getting warm. Let's take 10 more. Man, that slide is like butter. Let's go double action first. Yeah, basically where I'm holding at when I'm trying to shoot that torso target is right there at his top of his chest where that little little bolt is at. That's basically where I'm aiming. And if I aim, if I aim right on top of that bolt, I hit. And that's pretty much what I did that entire string just now. The recall impulse is so like, it's hard to explain. It's like it's, like it's delayed a little bit 
and going back because I guess there's a lot of mass going on here because this is the stainless steel version Beretta. So it feels like that slide just takes a little bit longer to cycle through everything. Maybe it's just my imagination, but that's just what it feels like to me as I'm shooting it. I really just can't get over how smooth <laughs> that slide is. I mean, that is a smooth slide. And the trigger's super nice. About the only thing I think I would do to it is just replace these grips again. I would go ahead and order some new Hogue finger grip grips because these are so worn, I can't really get a good understanding of how they are if they were new. So I would order a new set of these, see how they felt, and then I would go from there and maybe order some possibly newer ones or some wooden grips because I love my wood on top of my pistols. And yeah, so the pistol has uh, shot every round I've put through it so far. And let's take a few more shots, maybe do some rapid fire. Stand by. Okay, just for fun on this one, let's see what this baby can do. I'm gonna fire five shots as fast as I can. We're gonna start out with single action. Well, it was real smooth, I'll tell you that. Didn't hit the target, we don't care about that. We don't care about that. Felt good, it felt really good. Um, you can, it's almost like, if I have to explain it, it's almost like riding a wave. It kind of reminds me of my USP Expert because it's a big slide on that one as well. And if you're shooting quickly, you're like, you're riding this very specific timing. Let's just, let's just nickname that uh, riding the wave, riding the wave of the big heavy slide. Well. That's fun. That's about uh, all I'm going to shoot today because I'm running really low on ammo. Really need them sponsors to kick it up a notch and uh, come over here and assist me. Hope you enjoyed this little quick review of the Beretta 92 FS. First time I ever shot one and color me impressed. Color me impressed. I like it. It's a, it's a big old girl. She's got a little weight to it. But, you know, like the old saying goes, if you miss every shot just like I did, Hit him upside the head with this thing, you know? Hit him upside the head with a big old metal gun. Ain't gonna wake up after that. <laughs> All right, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and please join me on Patreon. Um, I got one all set up now, and I could really use all of y'all's assistance. Okay, you're gonna find links to it in the description below, and take care.